What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Thank you for tuning in and rocking out with the channel. I'd have to ask you to hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications. If you have not already, make sure you tap into the Patreon. I just dropped the interview yesterday. That is absolutely awesome, and it is completely uncensored. Let me turn down this really quickly because I am in a meeting on a completely different laptop. Um, and I've been taking care of a lot of business, entertaining a lot of guests uh, in and out of Detroit, including Charleston White, including a lot of other people. Um, and so that is one of the reasons why I have not been live streaming this week, but I will get back to live streaming next week. Um, it was an opportunity for me to catch up on a lot of things and take care of some business and focus 100% of my energy on a thing that actually was going to generate the most revenue, which leads me into the conversation that I wanna have with you guys here today. And the conversation specifically was, um, you know, I was talking to uh, a notary at the bank because I had to get uh, documentation notarized based off of my daughter getting her passport, right? Because now that the pandemic and travel restrictions and all of that stuff is easing a little bit, um, I can start getting her in and out of the country as far as letting her get different experiences and things like that. She's a teenager, she's 14. Um, outside of being on a cruise, she's never really been outside of the country. And so, you know, I want to expose her to life outside of the country. Um, in addition to just traveling all across the United States, she's been to so many different states, Salt Lake City, North Carolina, um, New York, Florida, California, Las Vegas, um, Texas. I mean, you name it, she's been to almost all 50 states outside of Alaska. Has she been to Hawaii? No, that was just her mother. But she's been to most of the states, right? But I was talking to the notary guy, and uh, obviously he knows that I bank there, so he knows what's in my bank account and everything like that. And he asked me, he said, yo, um, what advice would you give for me? And I'm turning 21. He said he was turning 21, and he said, what advice would you give to a person that's turning 21 years old? Really nice guy, um, great personality. Uh, he's going into software engineering and all of that other type of stuff, right? because he's been following me on YouTube and he's been taking the advice and all of that, right? And he said, what advice would you give me, right? Now let me back up for a minute because we was at the Pistons game yesterday. Me, uh, Charleston, Do, Low, Neff, uh, the whole crew, right? The whole crew, we and all of us are sitting on the floor having a good time. Now I know that you feel a certain type of way when I talk about the fact that we ball out, we drive the best cars, we live the best life, we got the fattest bank accounts, and we did it the right way. Let me emphasize that one more time, we did it the right way. And not one of us is gonna sit in the stands if one of us is sitting on the floor. We all sit on the floor, we don't We don't go at all, right? And here's the, here's the caveat to that, right? Is that we've been able to really, really comfortably afford the lifestyle that we have because we made the early sacrifices earlier in life. A lot of people want to get rich now. You know, I was talking to uh, somebody and you're going to see the Black Couch interview. Uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. It depends on if I decide that I want to stream tomorrow night. Um, and it was like, yo, it's a lot of young people getting money fast. I don't even think that some people really understand what money is. You know, we got this whole thing of six figures and all of that other type of stuff. And I told y'all multiple years ago on this very channel that six figures was not a lot of money. And it is you know, inflation and the cost of living and all of that stuff, it is going to really, really change the dynamics of how you see money and circumstances and lifestyle. If you make $100,000 a year, that's that's really good, right? But that's not a lot of money when you paying, when you can sit in, in, in $150,000 seats all year long. 120, 150, depending on how close to the, to the uh, you know, half court that you are, front row, everybody having a good time, every balling, everybody balling. That's not a lot of money when you consider that. When you consider, you know, the watches that we wear and, and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that life is all about money because I know a lot of y'all get sensitive when we start talking about our lifestyle and stuff, but you ain't tripping when it comes to a rapper. You ain't tripping when it comes to a people that's, that's actually selling poison in your community. So we ain't stunting that. We're not going to downgrade ourselves for the sake of having conversations with you. We're going to celebrate it because we got it the right way and we should be celebrated. And we're not going to wait for you to give us the credit. But the thing that I was telling him, I said, yo, if you make the sacrifices now, stay down for 10 years. There's people that'll do a bid 
for 10 years, right? I mean, seriously, they will seriously do a 10 year bid, do a crime that is going to land them in jail for 10 years and then think nothing about it and say, yeah, I'll be out in 10 years. I can get out in what, six with good time, seven and a half with good time. Make the sacrifice and you can enjoy life. You can still take road trips. You can budget effectively or whatever, but throw everything you have into eliminating your debt and then throw everything you have into uh, all of your investments and being very, very calculated. When everybody else is out partying and having a good time, you stay in the crib and you grind and you hustle. Or when everybody else is getting themselves into a situation or they looking to get a kid out of wedlock and all of this other type of stuff, they're going to suffer one way or another. They're going to suffer when they get older. The decisions that you make when you're 20 and you're 30 is going to determine how your lifestyle is gonna be when you're 40 and 50. And let me just say, when you make the right decision at 20 and 30, boy, life is 100 million times better at 40 and 50 than it was at, 10, uh, at 20 and 30. People that wind up saying, yo, you know, I wish I was 20 again, or my, you know, they always reminiscing about the past and all that other type of stuff. And it just goes on and on and on. And every single time you see them, they like, yeah, we was popping in the past and all of that. Their best years is behind them. Our best days are ahead of us. We don't even know how high our ceiling is. That's the, that's the conversation that me and Charleston was having. It was like, yo, we don't even realize how great we gonna be. We don't even realize how rich we gonna be. We don't even realize how, how much higher we can go. There are no better seats than the seats that we sit in in the arena at all. The only thing that we was talking about is, yo, sometimes we might just wanna chill and just get a whole suite. There are no better seats at all. Once you hit a certain threshold, you know what, I'm gonna say that video later. But my point is, is that stay down for 10. Even if you gotta do it for 15, fail forward. Stay down for that long time. Don't make the, the mistakes and the hard sacrifices that other people made that is not going to net you the benefits that come along with living up until you're 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old. Life is exceptional. I've lived three, four lifetimes as a result of the things. I'm, don't worry, I'm checking my computer, making sure that everything is good because they're on a meeting. I've lived three, four lifetimes. I've done things that I could never dream of that some people that come from the environment that I, some people has never even gotten out of their neighborhood, let alone their city. And I've done things that I've never dreamed of in my life. You know, the life that we live right now at 40 years old is the life that we dreamed of as little kids. You watching TV, you know, you sitting at the court and what, you know, and it's, it's just normal now. The players come up to you and speak, what up though? You got a good relationship with them. You're doing business with everybody that's on the sidelines. You got a phenomenal wife, a great daughter. You don't have no divorces, no kids out of wedlock. You ain't got no debt. All, all, all you got is 100% profit, 100% of the time. And you work hard, you be a good example for your community. You pour back into people, you put them on, you invest in people, and then you put on for your city. You love God, you love the people that surround you, and you do really, really well. Right, what more can you ask for? I produce my own content. I own 100% of what it is that I do. I've made the strategic investments. We in real estate, we in business, we in content creation. We build a great relationships. What, what else is there? Once you hit a certain threshold financially, right? Once you hit a certain number, and I'm gonna break this down in another video. Once you hit a certain number, there is no difference and how it is that we live from anybody else. There is nothing that one person can buy that another person can't buy. And so it then becomes about experiences because you no longer worried about money. The majority of the people are worried about where they're gonna get their next meal. They worried about how they're gonna pay their bills. They worried about whether or not they're gonna lose their job. I don't, I don't live like that. I live a completely different lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? And so my advice to him is the same advice that I have to you, whether you're 20 or you're 30 or you're 40. You want to live the best life possible and it cannot be any better based off of your early sacrifices. The decisions that you make right now is gonna determine how it is that your life is in the future, whether it's relationships financially and so on and so forth. So be encouraged, make sure you go about doing things the right way and then let your decisions today determine your future tomorrow. That's all I got for you. I love you, I appreciate you. Can't wait to start live streaming and interacting with y'all again. I love y'all, I'ma holler at y'all later. Peace.